Hello my wonderful friends, Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha. If you're brand new to the channel where Zoroastrians, the Magi, it's the original religion and the beautiful thing about it, it's all good. My friends, you're going to love it. Today we're going to wrap up a series we've been doing. Uh, it's on the magic of the Magi, uh, on spoken words that you would call prayers or back in the day were spells. And it's a, an understanding of why some people live in their good. They, they, they're prosperous, they're healthy, they're strong, they're, they seem to be blessed in everything they do. My friends, living in that Magi magic and miracles and a good God life and then the ones that don't and it's quite simple my friends in one paragraph I'm going to give you the secret to it but, but we've been talking about it all week so you so you get the understanding behind it because you have to give consent you, you know how do I explain this you, you know it's more than just uh, a, a conscious uh, ascent. It has to be uh, a subconscious. It has to go deep. It has to be a true belief in your heart of hearts and you have no doubt. And, and not many people get there. They'll mentally say, yes, I, I can believe that. But they're really just kind of thinking, wouldn't that be nice? They're hoping my friends, but where you truly believe the highest truth over the lie, it's got to go deep. In it. And the more you hear the word in these words of Asha, of the Avesta, of the Gathas, of the original religion, the perfect creator's perfect idea, it, one day it just it clicks. You get it. My friends, because when the truth comes, the, the lie is exposed for what it is, nothing. I, I need you to understand this. In the, in the text, the Bundahizen, it's the primordial story. And it talks about where good spirit makes his good creation and the evil spirit makes his evil creation. So there's angels or there's demons and there's good and there's evil. My friends, and it always bothered me. How could the evil spirit create? It's impossible. It's not in his nature. And I saw it for the first time this week as we've been studying this. It says that, that Ahura Mazda, the good spirit, when he was creating, he started with the good mind. And, and then he created Asha, the, the highest truth, the, his very spirit that lived in this good mind, in this good world, in this good life. He, God's a creator. The evil spirit. Do you, know, do you know what his first creation was? The lie. And then out of the lie came the evil spirits or demons. And I want you to think of this. He's not making anything. He's just seen what God good made. And, and then he's telling a lie about it. He's trying to destroy it. With the lie. That's the only power he has is the lie. Even the demons, my, my friends, they're evil spirits. I want you to think of spirits like uh, attitudes. You know, like there's a Christmas spirit, right? Uh, some people, hey, you're in a good spirit today. Or he's not in very good spirits today. Uh, my friends, when you hear a lie, something, for instance, uh, that uh, there's lack, then you get greedy. That's a spirit of greed. You know, and that's where it all comes from. A little whisper in your ear of a lie that creates a fear. Then you get angry. Then you get violent. My friends, that's where all the suffering comes from, from the lie. We call it the druge. My, my friends, but the truth will truly set you free. It, it'll bring you back into that real life when you know the real. And this to know... It's to be it. You know, in the Bun His, and it also talks about the whore of false religion. And so what does the whore of false religion want to do? She, she wants to be intimate with you. She, where the two become one. You know, like in, in the ancient times, a man would know his wife when they got married. It's intercourse, the two becoming one. The whore of false religion who wants you to take her into you and become one with her, believe her lie, 
Well, well, what is the lie? I'll tell you the original lie. It's found in Asha 13. It says the original word of false religion is that evil comes from the Creator. And from this false idea is all the evil creatures suffer. My friends, it's that one. If you get rid of that one idea, we would end all suffering. But what do all the world religions teach? That God sends good and evil. Right? He can be at peace or war. He can love or hate. My, my friends, we've got to go back to the pure, the original religion of Zoroastrianism that all the others branched off of. And look at the mess it's made. Because they're, they're being intimate with a whore of false religion. The original word of the true good religion, all good comes from the Creator, and no evil comes from Him. From this original word, your spiritual world is made straight, and then the material world comes into order, back into order. That's what's truth. My friends, and this is why the evil spirit, it's not even real. There is no devil. There is no demons. You know, it's, it's God good that was, is, and shall be. The evil spirit will not. The evil spirits will not. The lie will not. Be because they're not substance. They're not real. They're the lie. My friends, and when the truth comes, the lie is exposed for what it is. Nothing that loses its power. Do you understand that? When the light comes, the darkness is just gone. It's a choice, though, everyone has to make. And it has to be deep in the heart of hearts, a true belief. And that's Zoroastrianism. That's the message of the Magi. And it'll set you free. And so many people have gotten it. It clicked. It takes a while. After your whole life being raised in these other ideas, you've become one with that whore of false religion. It takes, a, it takes years sometimes for someone to come out of that. They've been brainwashed. My friends, and that's why I want to talk about the power of words. How were they brainwashed? We've been talking about this all week. Through words. Words are the most powerful thing for good or evil. How powerful are words? Well, I talked about that in my video yesterday a little bit. I was telling you uh, about the man. He had OCD his whole life. He, he went to doctors, took all the medication, and a couple months spent with me speaking the words of Asha. He was completely healed. My friends, you realize those doctors went to school for years, spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to get degrees, and they were giving the wrong words that weren't helping him. But with the right words, he was set free. My friend, we talked about that with hyp hypnosis. Right? I shared the story with you. My dad, he cut the end of his finger off. He was at a pain level of 10. We did hypnosis. It went to no pain. It was words spoken. There's so much power in our words. How are you speaking to yourself? It's so important. Asha 15 says, speak only the truth to yourself and it will form. Don't speak the lie to yourself. Start speaking, I am divine life. I'm one with God. I come from good spirit. I'm made of good spirit. I shall return to good spirit. I'm divine health and sickness and disease dies when it touches me. There's a hedge of protection around me and my family. I'm powerful. I'm free. Everything I put my hand to is blessed. I, I live in Asha, the perfect creator's perfect idea. And we have to have a reason to believe in Asha is our reason. Otherwise, again, you're just hoping. You're begging a deity in the sky. You're thinking, wouldn't that be nice? You have to have a reason to believe in that heart of hearts. Our reason is Asha. What else could a perfect creator have but a perfect idea of me and this world? And that's real. That's substance. I need to know the real above all that seems real. I need to know the good God. I need to know Asha. Heaven on earth. And my reason to believe that is what else could he have made? That's real and I hold on to that and I believe that and I speak that and I think that. My friends, it's going to start to, like Asha 13 says, your spiritual world becomes straight and then the material world comes into order and harmony that we call Asha. The perfect creator's perfect idea. I love you guys so much. I wanted to talk to you about doing something we used to do.
You know, if, if you're new and you're wanting to join us and be a part of this community, uh, I'll, I'll tell you what we do when we greet each other in the comments. We, we always say Asha is. It's one of the most powerful spells there is. Asha is the perfect creator's perfect idea. That's what is. That's what's real. My friends, another thing we used to do is always have something orange on. It doesn't have to be this extreme, but you could have like a little orange pin. Uh, maybe an orange ribbon in your hair. Maybe an orange crystal ring. But just something that when we see each other, we acknowledge there's a magi. It's a reminder to you when you see that orange color of who you are. My friends, I think it's beautiful. All right, guys, I love you so much. If you don't have your book, Asha... Uh, please know all the money we, we give to charity. It's available at Amazon. I'll put a, a link in the drop-down description. And, and do me a favor, leave a review there. We sell more books. This message gets out and we give more money to charity. I love, love, love you.